when I introduce you, I'm introducing a great Canadian and a great person. You have got the sand ship. You've got it started. And we should now know that all you need is our support, both physically as it here today, and with money because money makes it work. We are now fighting to preserve our legacy and our kids' inheritance. And I think we're on a roll. And we're on a roll thanks to Alex. She is the leader all the way. The amazing thing about this journey is that I went to go and live in the wilderness and, and, and fell in love with the place. And so all I'm doing is trying to protect it. And I, you know, some people say, well, what is this, a, a vendetta? Is it a, a crusade? I'm saying, no, it's a woman cleaning house. <laughs> you know, in trying to deal with this problem, at first I thought I had to deal with it from the top and change the minds of politicians. And I kept thinking if I, if I just lined up my words in a different order, that people would get it. And I ended up sending 10,000 pages of letters. I had cross hairs I would cross off for every 500 um, sheaves of paper that I sent. But you can't change it that way. The power is with us. And when people write to me all the time and they say, what can I do? I tell them to stand the ground in their neighborhood. Uh, because that's the beauty of British Columbia. We all have salmon running to us and by us. They're destroying themselves around the world. People who are depending on having a salmon farm job in 10 years, I, I personally don't think that's a good bet. Because when we get infectious salmon anemia, it's just gonna rip through here. And the lice are probably becoming resistant as I speak. And then we have to get the bath drugs. And then we're gonna lose our prawns and our shrimp and it just keeps going on and on. Farming a carnivore is just a bad idea because you do, it's a fishery. They have to go fishing for those fish and then they add grain to it that people also could be eating. And then they, you know, so they starve one ocean and they pollute the next ocean. But there's a lot of species of fish that could be farmed. And I think if I was marine harvest, I'd be moving into a tank because you know what? Mother nature is becoming hostile to them. They can't get fish back into the water in Chile and now they've got these issues in Norway. We all love watching this fish swim up these rivers. They're such a symbol as well as feeding all of us. So these fish are part of us. They built our province. They, you know, they're still bringing in over $2 billion in wilderness tourism. They're very, very important. and. It's really now or never. This is, this is not a dress rehearsal. These fish are going down, and, uh, it, but we can turn it around. It's, it's a problem we've created. We can fix it. It's not the money that the salmon actually supplied us over the years. It, it really is the passion you have about being involved in it, whether you, and anybody who sports fishing or anybody who even goes out to the river every year to see the fish come back. There's a certain connection that's the same, and everybody, every group always talks about how they love the fish more than the other group. The fact is, we love the salmon, and here we got a great opportunity to stand up for them, and it's just awesome what Alex has done. It's gonna take everyone. These corporations up against have access to hundreds of millions of dollars. It's crazy, I, I, I'm almost embarrassed, but our organization only has about $5,000, and we decided to give half of it to Alex. <laughs> In the fishing industry, we've had to learn to live with a pretty grim outlook. Like, there's uh, defeat is a lot more common than a victory. But I feel pretty good today. I feel like when I see all the people that came here, I feel like there is a chance. She said, I'd like to see the salmon swimming up the roots of the cedar tree <laughs> and the eggs falling out of the leaves. Beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> I want to uh, just finally close the afternoon by extending uh, my thanks, the thanks from the organization, and I think the thanks from over 500 people to you, Alexandra, to you, Ray, 
Thank you folks for coming out too. It's been a very good day.